Hello and welcome to our new tutorial about the basic usage of the green sock inside the oxygen builder and we are going to use the scripts organizer to do that. So let's jump into the project. Uh, you see that we are using some of the oxygen default templates for this one. We are going to jump into the backend script organizer and we are going to enable the features that we are going to need for this project. So first thing we want to do is to enable the scripts manager and allow JS uploads. I'm going to save it, refresh it, go to the scripts manager and we are going to register our new first script. We are going to click on the add new script. We are going to give description uh, name, for example, gsub core. It's a JavaScript. We want to use it in a footer. And we are going to register it and not enqueue it because if we enqueue it, it's going to be uh, on every page. And for now, I want to show you the example how to load it only when you need it and we need to paste the link here is the cdn and we're going to save it in case you don't want the cdn link and you want the file we are going to go to the gsap website we're going to download their zip file. Unzip it. Find the minified one. Here it is. Edit. And we are just going to paste it. We are going to save it. Perfect. Let's now dive into the animations. To start animating, we need to prepare the code block. So we are going to skip organizer, code block, add new. Uh, and this will be home page animation. Uh, we can even uh, add some tags so we can find it uh, easily afterwards. So we are going to add a GSAP and we are going to add animation to it. And you remember that we use the script manager. Here it is. We need to display it and then we need to enqueue the GSAP core that we registered previously. So with this one, the GSAP uh, gsub file will be loaded only when we are using this code block and why we done uh, this and not pasting the link here because now it's reusable and you don't need to paste the link all the time and in case the gsub updates and that's uh, quite frequently you can just replace it on one place and not try to search where you pasted it. So you go a couple of times instead of just one. Okay, let's publish this one. And I forgot we need to write it into the footer. So we press the footer and we choose if you're going to use the HTML. If you're using the HTML, you need to do it like this and write the code inside or you can just choose the JavaScript. And we also have the option to inline or you can create the file. For now, since it's a really simple example, we are not going to create the file. We are going to use it as an inline and update. Okay, we prepared the code block, but how to start with the 
GSAP. So uh, we can go to the docs. And here is the complete uh, documentation about uh, GSAP. But we are going to, since we are new to GSAP, uh, we will use the recommendation and get started. So if you scroll down, you see how to register this app and here is the code how to get you started. So copy this one, you're going to paste it, you're going to clean it up a little. It's much easier to read it like this instead of the logo ID, we are going to open our website in a new tab. I'm going to inspect this element headline go back place it and duration can be one or two seconds it can be on the y instead of the x and we can do opacity and we want to have the opacity from zero to one and then we are need to change to to from and you can press the update or you can just press the command c since we're having the shortcuts as well and let's refresh it and you can see that animation is working perfect okay now animation is working and uh let's check it again i have opened the inspect panel so we don't have any cache and as you can see every time when you reload it the animation starts when the page is loading so it's animating before the page is loaded so we definitely need to fix that one so what we need to do here is to create a function in it And we need to open the brackets and we need to add a window, add event listener method. And we need to trigger it after the content is loaded in it. Perfect. And we are going to move this one into the function so the code will be triggered after the content is loaded let's save it okay perfect now what you can see is let me refresh it so it waits for the content to load and then it starts with the animation but we have one more problem that we need to fix and that since we are animating it from the zero but uh, the element is 100 one or 100% visible so we need to make a hack to hide it before the animation and then to reveal it with the animation so how to do that so how to solve this? Okay, this is where the power of the script organizer is. Uh, we have everything on one place. So we have a footer, we have a trigger when to enqueue the script, and we can have the additional as well. So we can have the header and the footer in the same code block. And we're going to use the CSS for this one, and we need to target this element. And we need to hide it with opacity of zero. And this was a mistake I was doing from the beginning because when I start using the GSAP, that was logical for me. When you refresh it and we, when you start the animation, it should be hidden with the opacity zero. But since uh, we're animating it from opacity zero to opacity one, this is where we uh, hitting the problem and I managed to solve it by uh, 
finding these uh, useful tutorials if you want to go advance with the GSAP, the Snorkel uh, TV have awesome uh, tutorials and the tutor from I learned the uh, GSAP helped me with this one. So here is uh, what is the solution for this one. We are going to, instead of the opacity, set the visibility hidden. Okay. And instead of the opacity here, we are going to use the green sock uh, feature that's uh, out to alpha and we are going to set it to a second alpha we are going to set it to zero and now let's refresh it and it's working perfect uh, so now you have the finally optimized animation and when you refresh it you see the element is truly hidden until the page is loaded the content is loaded and then you start with the animation so hope you enjoy the tutorial hope you now understand how to use the green sock inside the oxygen with the help of the script organizer and for more advanced uh, tutorials about the green sock, I uh, highly recommend the Snorky TV uh, and I will paste the link to affiliate link to this one on the description into the YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and see you soon with more advanced tutorials on uh, green sock. Uh, subscribe to our channel and get notified when I post them. Bye!